Hello, my name is Mike Wood. Welcome to another Model Tree tutorial. If you haven't already checked out my website, head on over to ModelTreeStore.com. But today I'm going to talk a little bit about cherry blossoms. I saw these cherry trees and I've seen a lot of these around the uh, different towns in Utah Valley lately. And I noticed as I look up close at these that they have mainly blossoms. Some red branches, or I'm sorry, branches, uh, red leaves on them. So I decided to start by making my own uh, leaf material and blossom material with a little paint in my sawdust. And I probably could have done more white here, but uh, I started with uh, quite a bit of white, quite a bit of red, and ended up with a pretty deep color. Um, not uh, not too bad. Um, lightened it up a bit, uh, a few places here, so that I could get more like that real light pink blossom. So the examples I showed in the beginning are kind of uh, inspiration. Um, n not that I'm necessarily going to create anything exactly like that. But here we've got a few hours after I dr uh, started drying things and I decided, yeah, let's lighten it up. And so I added more um, white paint and water to the mixture and just went ahead and mixed it up again. Trying to just really lighten that up, I want to get a real light pink color. Now to give you some ideas of what I am inspired by, it's not just what I'm seeing in nature, but here on Instagram. I've got this Art Stage K um, that I follow that has some just beautiful um, trees. Now these are basically white blossoms which I hope to try um, in another video soon. But I also noticed this one here and this is kind of the the look I'm going for where there's a lot of bare branches seen but uh, just the tips uh, have that pink on them. Here's another one that I saw on Instagram, not quite um, what I'm shooting for right here, but definitely inspired me to do something like this. So you might give those guys a follow. This one here is a photo I took. Uh, it, it had more pink to it, but it was hard to get that to come out um, through the windshield of the car and with the quick uh, picture that I took. So we'll start with some sagebrush. Um, as our armature and the first thing I did with this is just kind of take a look at it to decide what I wanted to cut off and what I wanted to leave and then we'll go ahead and just start trimming and I was still thinking about things uh, at this point and even did some trimming uh, later as I was moving things in notice I saw there hey that one looks like it'll go right there so let's go ahead and get into that Building out the, the tree, I used some of those pieces that I cut off and just glued them back into places, uh, you know, different places. And this is where the hobby tack redeemed itself. I decided, hey, let's give this another shot. Let's try it uh, the way it's ex uh, explained on the, the bottle. And uh, I thank the, uh, the viewer who made that comment. Now it's finally time to and put a It little sat for a couple of days, honestly. And then I brought we'll it see in how to, it turns out. Uh, to start so putting I, uh, the, I the leaf material on. And sure enough, it stays sticky. tacky. And so it picked that stuff up real well. My container that's good for of, this um, situation, I guess. Material Look wasn't that. all that uh, it's pretty, the pretty sticky it's, to the side of the container there. It's incredible. It wasn't it's all that been um, a couple large. Of days and so since I after sticking in the, the so easy to reach ends there a bit, and I just decided let's grab some other of this aspects of life. We'll that push it on, grass. drip it on. So shout out drop to Robert Tessar. That's who it was who, who gave me the suggestion and said that said I like I it. And sure enough, like the the, this worked really, this really is, well. This is crazy. So cool. I'm not sure how well it'll work on my other material. Um, I will test this, that out in future actually, tutorials because. For this, uh, this approach, just adding on the tips of the branches, cool. nice. that hobby tack worked Fantasy. really, really well. So as you can see, those branches are starting to pink uh, up. We've still got the, the dark branching yeah, underneath. 
Um, realistically, you know, honestly, this uh, these branches should be darker. I should probably paint them for a cherry tree, but uh, I'm not going to worry back about that on this particular That's um, convenient. version. I may do that more in the future. Uh, after completing this one, I, I do want to do more of this with the blossoms. And so you'll see some more it's not, videos coming so I might out have on to that. apply some more so glue to it. Finish a, a few spots. There there were a few places where but I missed honestly, with the glue just like that, that I could probably put more on. But I think I've like got I say, I was really going for just a an the early spring that I was tree that doesn't have a lot of branches coming out, but just has the blossoms and showing I could on those. Certainly put more uh, tips of the the old um, branches that have been branches trimmed. on it, but. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with the oh, results I think, here. Uh, I think this uh, really uh, pretty much came out let's the way I was expecting it to. It so let's put it down and give it a little spin and you tell me what you think. Here's a close up. So tell me in the comments uh, if you liked it and tell me if you like this shorter version of the tutorials. Thanks for watching.